and we're just going to go with it. Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you're doing well. Um, I kind of wanted just to do a face-to-face -face video today. I have not done one of these in a long time, and as you see, I have no makeup on. My hair is not done, but that's how it is today. I am sitting here at the computer trying to think of what video I wanted to create for you. And something told me just put on the record and just record a video like I used to. So here we are. That's what I'm doing. Um, I am very excited where my life is going lately. <laughs> Why not do a life update, huh? <laughs> I am in the process of finishing a devotional that I want to offer you guys as a as a book um, to flip through and read and it's going to have a book of morning prayers and a devotional and evening prayers kind of the videos that I do just in book form for those who like to read and to bookmark pages and all that good stuff but I'm starting on a new fictional story that you guys are going to go along the journey with me in fact the fix and post the first poll so make sure you hit all these polls that are going to go up in the next week because that will determine the kind of story that I write. You're going to be the driving force behind that. So I hope that you join me on that journey. Um, as far as career goes, I am starting a new job. Um, it does not start till October. And it is seasonal, so it's only October, November, December. So it's through the benefit season. Um, if you know anything about benefits, you know, you... You go to work, you get health benefits and all that other stuff. Well, this is what that is for. So the busy time of signups is always October through December. So I'm excited to break into that. Um, it's a new field for me and I love learning new things. And it's something I can do from home, which I'm very excited about. Um, the twins are both working. Of course, one's been working, gosh, since well before I got sick with COVID, so he's had a job. Um, but the other one started about a month ago, maybe, maybe three weeks ago, something like that. And um, so I actually have time at home by myself, which I have not had in years, really. So that's exciting. Um, What else is new? I don't know how much I want to tell you. <laughs> Forgive me for not wanting to tell all my business online. Um, I've learned that there are some who will take well, any little detail you give them and turn it into a molehill, turn it into a mountain out of a molehill. Um, and I don't want to give them that liberty. I don't think anyone like that's on my page anymore. I think they've all gone away. I could be wrong. Um, I am expecting another grandbaby um, come October. So that I have not told you guys. So yay. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know what else. <laughs> I don't know what else I'm willing to share. That's about it, I guess. So that is your update from me. I hope that you're doing well, and I hope that life finds you in a good place. Things are turning around for me, and I feel it. Um, I'm genuinely very happy again, and it's been a long time since I've been happy and free, and I feel like I'm alive, and that's a good feeling to feel like you're alive. Only by the grace of God am I still here breathing. We know that. We we all know that. And who am I to sit around pouting and being sad because my life got flipped upside down? You know? You take what you're given and you make the most of it. That is the biggest lesson I have learned. And I hope that I can share and teach you how to do the same thing. Life is not always going to go your way. But, but... What you do with that life is going to determine where you see yourself, where you fall, I guess. 
Um, I wish I would have put makeup on today. I didn't realize I was going to do a video, but you get clean face you are today. No makeup. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, I guess. I'm giving you all my life updates. Everything that is going on. Um, you guys know about, I guess. I do, um, I know at the beginning of the year I was talking about opening a business and a boutique, but I have stopped that idea. It's not really what I want to do, um, though I love creating. I would not mind creating thumbnails and graphics for people to use. I don't want to create a print-on-demand business. Um, because there's too many middle hands in there, too many hands in the pot, so to speak. But I do want to increase my speaking engagements. Um, I would love to speak at women's conferences and to encourage and inspire women to grab a hold of life for what it is, and it's a beautiful gift. Regardless of where you are in your life, you know, here I am, I'm a widow. I was a widow before I even hit 50. And it was heartbreaking, and it broke me. It, but in the healing process, I have learned I am such a different person now than I was when he was here. I let so much of my own personality be watered down. I let so much of my own passions and desires be shoved to the side to fit into the role of being a wife and a mother and an administrative assistant and all the other hats I used to wear. I no longer wear those hats. Of course, I'm still a mom. I'm a grandma, you know, but those are hats that will never come off. I wish to say that being a wife was not a hat I took off. But it was taken off of me. And I had to grow from that. I had to go into that empty place of being alone to find out who I truly am. And to realize that I am pretty dang amazing. And I bring a lot to the table. And I'm thankful to find somebody that appreciates that fact. And helps me to see that I bring a lot to the table for many people. I don't just serve up supper, I serve up, serve up supper and dessert. <laughs> I used to on Sundays at least. Um, that is something I'm about to start trying to do is cook again. I miss cooking. I miss baking. I miss being in the kitchen and doing my thing there. I think that that is a place where I belong is in the kitchen. In the laundry room. Because I love doing laundry. Still love doing laundry. I don't do it as much because it's just my clothes, but the boys do their own, obviously. They were raised self-sufficient and started doing their laundry. Well, I guess I really didn't start doing it and keeping it up until I got sick and was in the hospital. But they've done it ever since. Anywho. I guess I'm gonna go. <laughs> I guess that's the only update I have for you guys. Um, sorry half my head chopped off, but it is what it is. This is a one-shot wonder, and there's really no editing gonna happen. Maybe I add a little background music to kind of cover up some of my pauses. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but on my voiceovers, sometimes my tongue gets tied. And I think that has a lot to do with the seizures that I had back when I had COVID. I think it kind of neurologically messed my brain up a little bit. <laughs> Where connections don't always make the right connections. I try to find the right words to say, but sometimes they don't come out of my mouth as I project them to. My tongue gets twisted and tied and all that jazz, but it is what it is. As my late husband would say, this what it is. I never liked that saying very much, but 
sometimes in life it is what it is and we have to learn to go with that we have to learn to adapt we have to learn to change and we need to stop being so scared to change and stop being so scared to break out and to be yourself and enjoy who you are becoming and that's the phase that I'm in right now it's I'm learning to love me I already love the life that I live you guys know I preached that I wrote a book about it to learn to love the life you're loving love the life you're living but you've got to learn to love yourself while you're learning to love your life because if you don't love yourself in that process then you're not going to even get to that step of loving the life that you're being given your life will not be what it could be and you probably live an amazing life I know I do I hope you do I'm gonna let you guys go though so I will see you in the next video bye